Hi there, this is Chris from PC Gamer. I'm taking a look at the Portal 2 uh, Perpetual Testing Initiative DLC, which adds this really impressive looking uh, level editor to allow people to make their own Portal 2 puzzles. As you can see, it's kind of based on the, um, the sort of shareholder videos, the Aperture shareholder videos that they put out. It's got a very similar kind of, um, I guess, uh, sort of architecture diagram style look to it. And it's, it's a really impressive piece of kit. The um, It's very tactile, so you kind of manipulate the environment you start with, like this one, by you know, dragging in, um, pulling parts of the environment. And as I said, I've only given myself a brief amount of time to kind of play with this so far. So I'm going to kind of jump in kind of at the deep end and try and put together a working puzzle in about 15 minutes and see what you can do. Um, be prepared that for me to not really know what I'm doing, but I think anyone who knows me should be ready for that anyway. So one thing that's very impressive is actually even having just manipulated this tiny amount of um, the environment, I can jump almost straight in after a short loading screen and run around inside um, with apparently only this uh, short load that is a lot longer than I thought it would be. There you go. Or a different loading screen. And there you can see my expertly moved ceiling blocks. And so on. I've successfully created the worst portal level. So I'll go back to the editor. And that's really nice how it snaps back in straight away. Your list of tools here on the side of stuff you can add later, like deadly goo or a companion cube or a tractor beam. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to try and uh, lay out this map kind of roughly as I, as I want it. So we've got the entrance there, exit there. I want to kind of turn this whole thing actually into kind of a rectangle. So I'm going to grab all that wall and drag it all the way back to there, grab these things as well, pull them back, and I kind of want the exit I think to be kind of a little bit harder to reach so I'm going to drag it and move it up to there, and raise the floor immediately underneath it, actually maybe uh, put it back in the wall a little bit as well, so drag these back, oh it's gotten upset. No, I mean, sorry. Takes a little getting used to this uh, drag selecting uh, actual parts of the environment, but it's a, it's a cool sort of solution to, to that problem as soon as I figure it out. You'll be able to uh, share and uh, download other people's uh, courses, of course, so the kind of lifespan of Portal is hopefully going to expand pretty dramatically when this comes out. There we go. That'll do. So I want to figure out how to get there. And also how to add a bit of challenge for people. So I may pull this entire wall back actually, give myself a bit more space to work in. Awesome. And we will start there. Okay, so at the moment the task is to get up there, but um as it is, don't really want people just portaling up, so I have to figure out how to, yeah, change that from not portable, which is just also, I think, a hotkey P as well, so yeah, I can make sure that you can't get rid of all that moon dust. Would be enough? Probably. Um, but all this stuff actually I don't mind, so... I guess if
you can probably see what I'm going for here to finish this logo. Hmm, got an idea. Put that there. And the receiver there. Tie that to, let's see. And you obviously set the max height of the piston as well, which is really cool. So about that to there. And connect to that. Lovely. I like the little heart icon that pops up. This is, this is really easy. Bear in mind, this is basically the first time I've used this, and I am winging it. So the fact that I can kind of get it straight in and kind of figure out some rough ways of, of getting this stuff together is is, is bodes really well, I think, for the for the game, for what more competent humans will be able to do. Now, what I want is a reflection cube. Let's take. Ah, cool. Cube type reflective. Wow, there's lots of options here. Okay. And I want two of them. Great, okay, I'm gonna load this and see if this kind of really basic puzzle, which is gonna be about redirecting this laser that way and hopefully finishing our logo to activate this lift works. Okay, awesome. Ah, I think I've got a problem here in that I have placed those laser emitters a little bit too out, high, out. So, uh, yeah, this isn't going to work immediately, but maybe. to solve my own puzzle. Let me see what I'm trying to do. Okay, well, <laughs> that actually works, not quite as well as I'd thought. So let's um, quit out and see if we can roughly fix that puzzle. Although I quite like having to stack the cubes, so I'll keep that. But I'm going to change one of them to a companion cube, because it doesn't matter anymore. Also, I'm going to have to give the player some way of uh, getting to that lift before they redirect it. So actually, if I move the lift, I still want to spell out a C here, ideally, in red. 
So if I can move this entire wall back. Move the lift there. set the exact trajectory of these faith plates which is um, really cool so I'm going to encourage the player to jump over to there but it'll probably hit the ceiling according to a little stop sign so it's now acceptable The idea is you have to stack the blocks there, stand on the lift, and redirect the laser both there and there, which will form no kind of C whatsoever, but we'll take what we can get and see if that works now. The first step is, I guess, to get the companion cube. Place it there. And then... Ah, I think I managed to do the start position of the lift the wrong way around. Yeah, no, I didn't come all this way to invent a box stacking puzzle and kill myself, so uh, we'll try that again. There you go. That's what we want. I can probably actually lower these, but I quite like the idea of stacking the boxes now, because then I can make the boxes harder to get later on if I want to make the, the puzzle more complicated boxes I mean cubes obviously they're not crates Let's try that again Well, uh, except for the floor to jump, that actually worked, and it's just giving me an idea. So why didn't that work? 
I'm going to raise the entire ceiling. Incidentally, the correct answer to why didn't that work is because uh, you're incompetent, Chris. takes a little bit of getting used to manipulating these uh, 3D planes in, in, I guess, by just rotating the view. It makes sense, but it uh, takes a little figuring out. Okay, so that jump should now just about work. So. Ah, I can actually manipulate the arc of the jump, which is kind of what I wanted. I want people to, to jump and be able to see kind of what they've spelled out, which is absolutely shameless, but you know, we'll go with it. Try that. If I thought this through, I would have put the uh, exit on the other side, but you know, I'm committed now. Here goes nothing. See the ceiling's much higher now. And I'm kind of running up on my 15 minutes, so if this works, I think we're good. There really is no way that's a C, is there? Oh well. Awesome. Well, they really did mean uh, perpetual testing. <laughs> okay. Cool. I think if I was to, to keep working on this, which I might do, I would like to make you know, the boxes harder to get and maybe a little bit more straightforward than stacking some boxes and firing two portals, but you definitely get the impression of what it's possible to do with what is really a kind of very hands-on tool. Like, it's not too difficult to kind of figure out how it all fits together at all, actually, which is really impressive. So, thank you for watching, and I guess watch the Portal 2 puzzle workshop for more PC gamer themed, um, really inept puzzle designs. Cheers for your time. See you later.